Good morning, everyone. This is Ida. I wanted to hopefully re-record uh, how I made these butterflies that I showed on my previous video. And I think I got my phone situation all figured out. So I'm going to walk you through. Here are the ones that I already made um, right here. So these are the ones that I already made, and I'm making them in sets of four. So I still have one more to put together, you guys. So I all I did was cut out the solid and then the filigree piece. And again, these are the Tim Holtz uh, butterflies. So I'm going to move these out of the way, and hopefully I'm going to show you what I did to make these. I cut a piece of copper wiring, you guys, and it comes in a little roll like this, and it comes in a variety of colors, but sometimes you can get them in bigger rolls. Um, and I cut a little piece, guys, that measures about four and a half inches. And all I'm going to do to this little piece, you guys, is I'm going to fold it in half. This is all I'm going to do. Like, this is really super easy. And I got a few beads right here, you guys. I only have uh, just a few. So I'm going to pick up some to, to make the body of my butterfly. And I'm going to use just a combination of some earth tone and coppers with some pinks and um, and I'm going to alternate the colors but you can do whatever you want this is just what I'm going to do another pink and then I'm going to add a copper and I think this should be long enough for the body but let's check yeah, I think that's plenty long. See, guys, I just make it long enough as long as the body is. And you can make it like one more uh, length longer if you want. But I think I want the... No, I think I'm going to keep it that way. I thought I wanted the pink to be at the front, but nope. I think I'll keep it as the copper one in the front. So this is all I'm going to do, guys. I'm going to slide them to the bottom. But see, they tend to want to go... All the way down and I don't want them to do that so I have this pair of pliers that has this little groove right there and all I'm gonna do is take this um, wire and I'm gonna pinch it you guys so so it closes up a little bit see how it closed it up and that's all I'm gonna do to it I'm just gonna pinch it to close it up that way when these beads go all the way to the end they don't fall off so I'm going to set that aside for a minute and I'm going to glue the body together. So all you have to do is add a little bit of glue, but look at that embossing, you guys. I'm going to add a little bit of glue to the body to glue those two pieces together. And I'm going to recap this because I don't want it to dry out. And these tips are so tiny, you guys. Sometimes I have a hard time finding the... Uh, replacing the little pin back in it so I'm just going to glue these two together guys I don't glue the wings down just the body that's it like seriously it's this simple you guys I really didn't even need to make a tutorial but sometimes you know some of us need a visual you know and and I'm that way too sometimes I need a I need to see it you know like I you know I may hear what you're saying but I might not understand so when I have a visual then of course that's better for me. So see how I open this up a little bit. It's still crimped over here, you guys. But I'm going to slide this piece in the center of the body. So one wire goes to the bottom of the body and the other one stays on top of the body. Right there. That's all I'm going to do, guys. See, that's what makes the body of the butterfly. And I'm going to actually turn it around this way. That's what makes the body of the butterfly. Now I'm going to hold these beads, make sure they stay down. And all I'm going to do, guys, is this piece that's coming out of the bead, I'm going to push it down. And the piece that was uh, behind the body, I'm going to push that forward. And then I'm going to grab me a, a pair of pliers. You can grab whatever. But I'm going to give this a twist, you guys. I'm just going to give it a twist right here. That way, well... Let me see if I can get in here. I'm just going to give it a twist, you guys, with my pliers. So um, the beads don't come out of the body. And that's it, you guys, pretty much. And you can give it a couple twists if you want. I think I'm going to do that. 
I'm going to twist it again. But try and keep your twist very close to the body. So there's the body, you guys. Like, seriously, that's all we had to do. Now, in order to curl these, and you can do it uh, before or after. I would say do it before because then you don't have to worry about the body moving. Just grab your pliers, you guys. And if I grab it back here, when I do the other one, I have to do the same. But if I grab it more towards the middle, then when I do the other one, I have to do the same. And all I'm doing is making a little loop on the antenna. And I'm going to do the same on this one. And I'm going to grab it about in the same place. And I'm just going to curl it in. Seriously, that's all we have to do. So there's that one, and there's that one. There's the antenna, you, antennas, you guys, to my butterfly. Now, if I wanted to curve this and uh, so it wouldn't be so flat, you know, this is so pliable that you can actually shape it. It's not a big deal. So there's the, there's the antenna, you guys. And all you do is have to work with it to kind of get it where you want. So there's the body. Like, it, it wasn't even nothing major. And now I'm going to get my glossy accents. And I don't know about you guys, but my glossy accent always acts up. So let me clear that opening right there. <laughs> Do y'all hear that baby? She's already visiting me early in the morning. I feel like I have a new grandbaby. So right here in between the body and the beads, you guys, I'm just going to uh, put a little bit of the glossy accents. And um, let me recap this. And what I'm doing is I'm working on a swap, but I'm also, uh, while I was creating things, and I should have done this from the beginning, you guys, I started creating with another pattern paper. That way, when I'm done creating for my swap or whatever I happen to be doing, I'll be done with my Happy Mail as well. So I'm going to turn it to the back. And usually what you want to do, guys, you do want to add a little bit of, uh, whether it be glossy accents or, uh, in this case, I'm going to do glossy accents, uh, glossy accents or uh, hot glue, just to keep this uh, little uh, wire from shifting anywhere. And, uh, of course, uh, glue dries faster, but... Um, but I think uh, Glossy Accents is more sturdy. Now, right here, I can tell the body is a little bit crooked. And if I want to straighten that out, all I have to do is kind of bend it with my fingers and straighten it out, you guys, because it is uh, on that wire and I can manipulate it. And I don't want to handle it too much because it's still wet. I'll shape it and everything afterwards. But for now, I think I'm just going to let it dry. But that's all there is to it, guys. And this one looks flat because I haven't fluffed up the wings. But after it dries and I, you know, work uh, with the wings and the wire a little bit more, this is what they end up looking like, guys. So I did two in the two in the pink and two with the copper foiling wings. But they're both foil. One of them's more like a satin and the other one's more like a mirrored card stock. And the, both of these card stocks are by Tonic Studio, you guys. And they are very, um, they're very thick. They, I love to work with them because even though I manipulate them and they're filigree, they still have a lot of stability to them. So that's all I wanted to share with you guys this morning because I knew there was a couple of you that wanted to know. And also on the beads, I think I told you guys that these were 8-0s. And I think I was wrong. I think they are 6-0s, you guys. But, you know, just compare it to... You know, more or less, um, depending on what size of butterfly and the body you're working, of course, you either need to get bigger ones or you need to get smaller ones. You kind of just be the judge of that. I'm just letting you know what I use, and I use the um, six O's for the body on mine. And I don't waste anything, guys, not even that one bead. So I will put all my stuff away. And... Um, even on the floor when I'm sweeping you guys because I drop a lot of things and when I gather everything the, if there's beads or sequins or whatever I pick it up that's that's really what I do so now on this one all we have to do you guys is after it dries a little bit let me move the antenna out of the way 
all I'm going to do is stick my hand in between the body and just adjust the wings, guys. And that makes all the difference in the world. And there's my butterfly. And, I'm, and like I said, I still got to work with the wings a little bit. It's tacky. It's tacky from the uh, glossy accents that I put on it. I see it on my table, too. Shouldn't have done that. I hate it when this stuff sticks to my table, to my glass. Because I, I should keep a wipey or something here, a wet cloth, and I don't. But look, guys, how pretty they are. Look at how beautiful these are. And the reason they look different is because... Remember, it's two different butterflies. One's bigger. The wings are different. But look at this, guys. Look at how beautiful they look. So I hope you guys try these, you know. And when you're working on a swap, I hope that you do what I'm doing, finally doing, uh, and working on with two different pattern papers. No matter what I'm creating, I'm creating two different designer papers. And that way, when I get done with one swap or Happy Mail, I'm actually done with two. And like I said, I'm keeping it in sets of four, uh, but it just depends on what I'm creating. Uh, sometimes I'll only do a set of two or three, depending on how big the embellishment is or how time-consuming. These weren't very time-consuming at all, you guys, so you could just pump these out like nothing. Thanks for watching, you guys. I hope everyone has a great day. Oh, and another thing, the Happy Mail that I received from... Miss Deborah, uh, hold forth. I forgot to tell you guys that if you check out that Happy Mail video, in the description box is the link to her channel. So you guys hop on over there and, and check out what London has to offer. Thanks for watching, you guys. I hope everyone has a great day and God bless. Bye.